Imagine this. You're dusting off old boxes in a forgotten attic when suddenly you find something strange. A book. An ancient leather-bound book with yellowed pages. Intrigued, you flip through it and your heart skips a beat. Because this isn't just any book. It's a detailed guide on how to build a time machine. Fast forward decades, after years of struggle, you succeed. Overwhelmed with excitement, you take that same book back in time to ensure it always exists. And then it hits you. That book, the one you discovered in the attic, is the exact same one you just brought back. So, who wrote it? This, my friends, is the bootstrap paradox. And today in this video, we're diving deep into one of the most mind-bending riddles in the world of time travel. Get ready to question everything. Let's begin. The bootstrap paradox is a time travel mystery where something, an object, an idea, or even a person, exists without a clear point of origin. It's caught in a loop, seemingly pulling itself into existence out of nowhere. Sounds crazy, right? Let's break it down with an example that'll blow your mind. Say you're a physicist, a huge fan of Albert Einstein. One day, you travel back to 1904 and hand young Einstein a copy of his own theory of relativity. Einstein reads it, gets inspired, and in 1905, he publishes it. Boom! The theory that changed the world is born. But hold on. If Einstein got the idea from you, and you got it from him, then who actually came up with it first? No clear answer, just a loop. Okay, let's flip the script. You love Shakespeare's plays. One day, you use your time machine to visit the man himself, but when you find him, he looks clueless. No Hamlet, no Macbeth, not even a single sonnet. You panic. You hand him a copy of his own works. He copies them down. The plays get published. History unfolds as expected. But if he only wrote them because you gave them to him, where did they actually come from? See the problem? The knowledge of these plays exists, but it has no origin. It's an endless causal loop. Now you might be thinking, all right, but science wouldn't allow this, right? Well, not so fast. In Einstein's theory of relativity, time is not a straight line. It's more like a fabric that can bend, twist, and under the right conditions, even loop back on itself. This is where the concept of closed time-like curves comes in. Imagine time not as a river, but as a whirlpool a loop where events can repeat without ever having a clear beginning. And the crazy part? These loops fit perfectly into Einstein's equations. But just because something is mathematically possible, does that mean it can actually exist in reality? Or is there some hidden rule, maybe buried deep in quantum mechanics, that prevents these paradoxes from happening? We don't know. But if bootstrap paradoxes can exist, they would rewrite the laws of the universe. The bootstrap paradox isn't just a scientific headache. It shatters our understanding of reality itself. Think about it. If something can exist without an origin, then what does that say about our universe? Could everything, our world, our choices, even time itself, be trapped in an endless cycle repeating forever? The bootstrap paradox doesn't just mess with science. It forces you to question reality itself. Is there a way out? Physicists and philosophers have debated for years. Is there a way to fix this paradox? One idea is the Novikov self-consistency principle. It suggests that time corrects itself. Events inside a loop must align perfectly. No contradictions allowed. In other words, you can't change the past because the past already includes your actions. But then there's the multiverse theory. What if every time you travel back, you're not in the same timeline anymore? Instead, you're in a parallel universe. In this case, paradoxes don't just disappear, they become irrelevant. Each timeline exists separately, untouched by the others. The bootstrap paradox makes us question everything we think we know about time, reality, and existence itself. So now I turn the question to you. If you could step into a time loop, would you? Or does the thought of something existing without a clear beginning leave you spinning? Let me know in the comments, and if you love exploring the biggest mysteries of time, space, and the universe, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because trust me, we're just getting started. 
Until next time, keep questioning, keep imagining, and remember, time might not be as linear as it seems.